beautiful people it's your girl k-e-r-o-y carrie and welcome back to my channel if you are new here i focus on fashion lifestyle travel and beauty so if that is something you are interested in i would love to have you come and join the crew so don't hesitate hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a post welcome back to my oldies but goodies today's video is a fun styling video we are recreating pinterest outfits spring outfits to be specific so this is the video where you will run to your closet and see if you have anything that looks like the pieces that i'm showing and put some outfits together this is the video that inspires you to shop your closet because we don't always need to go out and buy something new so grab your water grab your coffee grab your tea grab your drink of choice and let's get straight into this video all right so let us do a quick what is pinterest so if you are not aware pinterest is a search engine they produce like evergreen content so you can always go on Pinterest to find inspiration for any and everything my thing is fashion I'm on Pinterest so if you are on there I would love to have you follow me over there we just hit 30k over there I share everything over there all my fashion finds my beauty finds my travel outfit you name it I post it on Pinterest but if you're keeping a party and you want inspiration for a particular theme, you can always go on Pinterest and find inspiration to help you with that party. If you're getting married and you need inspiration, if you build a new house or you're redecorating your house and you need to decorate your di uh, the different rooms, you can always go on Pinterest and find inspiration buy the pieces you can shop on there as well so today's video i am styling uh i'm giving you a bonus one so it's going to be 11 different looks and all these looks were inspired from uh outfits or pictures that i've seen on pinterest some of the people i know them some of them i don't but their style speaks to me and i like it and so i went into the back of my closet I've pulled out some oldies but goodies I think I only have maybe like two new pieces in this everything else is all all me choose lamb so something more all women me natural them way because I need them for videos like these I did a closet purge and now I'm like so torn because I've taken out so many things from my closet but i needed to so i'm not even gonna be mad at myself so we're gonna go ahead and get straight into this video starting out with the look that i'm wearing of course i am going to be popping up the inspiration picture on the side to show you we're going to talk about what the person is wearing and what particular uh, inspiration I took from that because it is inspiration you don't have to get it down to the T it doesn't have to look the same the color doesn't have to be the same it can be the same silhouette um, it can be the same fabric it can even be the same color if you have the same pieces bingo okay to the bank but if you don't you're taking from that particular outfit what you want from it and you're putting your look together based off of that look so let's go ahead and get into look number one the one that i'm wearing Alrighty, so uh look number one and i'm gonna be looking at my phone so if you see me looking down or looking away from the screen that's what i'm looking at because i'm looking at the picture so i can describe it to show it to you guys and i'm popping it up on the screen while i talk about it so she's wearing uh, olive green bomber jacket black sunglasses she has on a tan t-shirt and she also has on this uh, shirt tied around her uh, waist a plaid shirt she has denim on a tan shoes and that looks like um, a Gucci bag now this is my recreation of this 
I am wearing this uh, bomber jacket in this like nice um, like teal or light blue color. This bomber jacket is from Walmart. I showed it in a Walmart spring all a few weeks ago. I don't have a tan t-shirt but I have this tan bodysuit and so I popped it under there. You should be seeing the cutaway right now. For shoes, I just got these in from Zara and it's these because mesh is trending right now so mesh mesh shoes bag all of that it's a thing right now okay yeah so I picked up these um, mesh shoes pointy toe heels from Zara the other day they also come in black if they're still available I'll definitely link them for you whatever is available I'm gonna link them I'm also going to link similar pieces because I know that some of you would want to shop these pieces because you may not have them in your closet but you like the look but like I said before most of these pieces are old so I will try to find similar pieces I won't be able to talk about the fabric and the fitting and all of that so just a FYI right there so I would say these are true to size I got them in a size 9 this bummer jacket is in a size medium it fits perfect it's lightweight I love it it has pockets and then I paired it with my Mesa Margiela slash denim pants I didn't roll the legs this time I left them so that the pointy toe could peek out and then I'm wearing these black uh, sunglasses Ugh, talk about blocking the haters this is it this is so old I think I got this from City Trends if I'm not lying this is like five years old but it is so good I, I'm not putting it out and then for a bag I went for this brown bag just to tie in all the browns and just to add some different tones and texture with the belt to the look you're seeing it on the cutaway this bag again is old from H&M the strap I just changed it out this strap is from Amazon so you're seeing the look on the cutaway I am going to pop up a picture of myself and a picture of the inspiration and you tell me did I nail it did I get it what is what are your thoughts let me know in the comments outfit number two outfit number two is a dress popping it up on the side she is wearing this poofy sleeve dress with a big tie bow at the neckline the, it's a drop M exaggerated M on the dress I would consider this a mini dress because it's over the knee she has black accessories so black cat eye sunglasses black woven bag and a black like dad sandals with um, the sole is like on the thicker side so absolutely love this look and the moment I saw it I was like yes girl I got something that looked like that too actually so I went to my closet because I didn't put this one out and I picked up this this lime green so hers is cream mine is lime green green I am the inspiration is the silhouette of the dress the shape how it looks and I was like, I would not even think to pair that with a dad sandal to give it like a more casual look. But when I saw it, I was like, wow, I like that. I'm definitely going to um, restyle this and wear it out during the springtime. It's giving extra. It's not for everybody. But you know, I already know, say, my mother never gave me no middle name. But some just inherit the one on name extra. So carry extra spend. So, okay good so this dress is from Akira I think it is still available they also have it in red they also have it in silver I have it in silver as well so it comes with the string for the big bows the poofy sleeve 
the sleeves are a little bit different from hers but it will still do it has the drop M as well and so I went for my Kurt Geiger dad sandals my um, Amazon uh, dupe uh, black sunglasses and my coach art bag because I don't have a woven bag that looks like that but this is black this will do the job you're seeing it on the cutaway let me know what you're thinking I love the fit of this dress I got it in a size medium and it fits perfect I also love the black against the lime green this is this is a moment okay I absolutely love this I'm also gonna try it with the silver because I have some silver dad sandals that I can throw on with the silver dress and I'm definitely gonna try that so popping up both pictures on the screen my look versus the inspiration let me know what are your thoughts did I nail it all right outfit number three outfit number three is from one of my favorite gals in the entire world she is a fashion gal through and through and it's the one and only bad girl Riri now I'm popping up her picture on the screen like this has been on my Pinterest board since forever. I don't know why it took me so long to recreate this look, but better late than never. So she's wearing a white uh, top. It is giving like blazer but shirt vibes. And um, she's wearing these wide leg pinstripe cream trousers, like white and cream. Just give me straight white or straight cream. But when I saw this, I was like, wow, I like it. Let's go ahead and recreate it. So, let's talk about my pieces. So, I have this wide leg cream pants. This is actually a suit from H&M I've had for maybe a year or almost two years. When I wore this, I wore it with sneakers. And then I have this uh, white bodysuit from Express. I've shared this on here before. It has poofy sleeves. It's a button-down shirt bodysuit. Great so you don't have to worry about tucking, tucking in your um, shirt all the time. So she does not have a bag and I cannot see what color shoe she she has on so for me right now is just I have to think about how I would want to style it how I would want to accessorize this so that is the template how am I going to make it my own because remember it's inspiration how am I going to make it my own what twist am I going to put on it and since she does not have any bag or I cannot see her shoe I went ahead and I'm adding these gold slingback eels from uh, Walmart. I've shared these on here before. These come in a bunch of color. I've, I have the gold one. I love them. They're super comfy. The soles are padded. And then I went for this uh, Bottega inspired uh, Jody bag. This is from the vault label in gold. So gold on gold. Also... I am stepping away so you can see the cutaway. I went ahead and tucked my collar in just so I could have that V neckline, that extravagant V neckline that she has, even though she still has her collar out, but I don't have that piece. So in order for me to get that look, I tucked my collar in and I just went for two different pins. One is an S. And I got this when I went to New York Fashion Week and I was invited to the Serena Williams um, fashion show. And then I just have um, another one is like this red apple, which is like my teacher pin because she has on the, um, the breast cancer awareness um, bow. So I just went for my teacher apple and that is my look let me know let me know what you're thinking because i love it i'm definitely gonna wear this out 
like this 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 is the reason why um pinterest is so good because you get to see a variety of things that you wouldn't even think to try first of all i'm not a neutral girl i am a colorful girl through and through i wear neutral looks but i'm a color girl i, I just have to say it but this look it's a vibe popping up both on the screen let me know what you think did i nail it or not all right outfit number four outfit number four is a fave of course because you will see why we're color blocking we're wearing colors we are so we are outside spring has sprung and we are ready okay so she's wearing this gorgeous yellow long cardigan with a green wide leg pants and red accessories so she has red bag red sunglasses i cannot see the shoes so this is me now i have to step in and put my spin on this like interpreting what what shoe would she put on or what shoe would i put on so i went ahead I don't have a yellow cardigan I don't but I have a yellow blazer and so now this is me getting inspiration in terms of the color combination and not the particular um, pieces that she's using but the color combo so if you don't have a yellow blazer either you could do a yellow shirt a yellow t-shirt okay so I have this yellow blazer, really old. The very first time I went thrifting, I got this blazer for I think $4. It's not leaving my closet ever, okay? It's, it's not going anywhere. You're going to see this every season after season because it's going to stay, okay? And then I have this uh, green wide leg pants from Shein. If you've been here for a while, you know her she's a oldie but goodie we love her i also have her in orange and yellow hopefully she's available i'll link her for you so i am pairing both of these and then for the accessories she has a red bag so i'm doing my red tory birch bag i'm doing these red sunnies from uh Lorve, yes, and I just interpreted that she is doing uh, red eels as well because she's color blocking three ways. So it's either she has on red eels or a neutral eel. And for me, I went ahead with the red. I could do neutral as well. I could do white. I could do gold. It would still work. It's totally up to you and totally up to what you have in your closet as well. I have red, so we're going to do red. I'm stepping away so you can see the cutaway of how it all came together. I love this. I'm definitely going to ask Abby to shoot this look for me because I, you know me. I love a good color combo. And this one, she eats. She eats. She eats down. Absolutely, absolutely love let me know i'm popping up both pictures on the screen let me know what are your thoughts how did i do do you think i nailed this look all right look number five look number five simple but i love it so this is one of my favorite girls on the internet is uh, Candace. I think her last name is Brathwaite. She lives in the UK. Shout out to the UK girlies. Y'all are a vibe. So, um, Candace is wearing this yellow cardigan. She scrunched up the sleeves. She's wearing this black and white pinstripe. Love that pinstripe. Never goes out of style. Just the FYI. And then she popped on yellow shoes and then she's wearing this uh, like um, fries looking bag with those like rhinestones on it. And she's also wearing 
um, glasses. It, I think it looks like it has a blue tint with a black frame. Absolutely love that. So, my take on this. I don't have a yellow cardigan. I don't. So, I am drawing inspiration from the look itself. So instead of yellow cardigan, I'm going with my orange cardigan. Like well nice and bright. This is actually from uh, Target. And I've added this for maybe like two years because I used to wear this to work. But me always cool. So you will catch me with jackets, cardigans, sweaters, you name it. They'll be in my closet for a while because girl, me always cool, okay? So, popped on my orange cardigan. I do have a black and white pinstripe. I shared this with you guys the other day. It is from H&M. If it is still available, i link it for you. It also has a jacket to match. But I'm happy that I, I, I was able to pull at least something from the look. And then I'm going in with my orange eels. These are old from um, ASOS. If you've been here for a while, you know these. I've worn these into the ground. I'm not done yet. And then, <coughs> excuse me, I am going in with my Brandon Blackwood uh, Taxi Clutch. Just because she has something similar and I don't have anything that looks like that. But this is close enough. It has some ints of orange in there and the gold with the rhinestone just like hers. I love. So you're seeing it on the cutaway. How it all came together. We love her. We love her. Okay, I didn't put sunglasses on. Don't know why. But I didn't put sunglasses on. But I still love how the look came out. It is a nice and comfy look. It is great for um, an indoor event, like you're going indoors to an event because it's a sweater, so you might be hot, so you don't want to be outside in that. But I love how the look came together. Pictures popping up, both of them. Let me know your thoughts. Did I... Did I come close to Candace or no? Nah? Let me know in the comments. All right, next look, outfit number six. Outfit number six, I follow her on Instagram, but I totally forgot um, what her name is, but she has amazing style. Um, she's wearing this lime green shirt jacket, so it's a jacket, a white top, uh, denim pants and she's cuffed the legs of the pants uh, red shoes and red bag a color blocking moment you called my name okay Carrie color block Spence yes ma'am I'm here present well early so this is my take I I have that same jacket. I wore it um, like two or three years ago when I went to New York Fashion Week. I wore it to New York Fashion Week. I also have the skirt to match. So when I saw that look, I was like, okay, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I pulled out my jacket. That's why I know for that show you things, let me know. Yeah. Pulled out my jacket. This is old from um asus but it's a river island brand absolutely love it i got it in a size medium because it's already oversized then my white top is from it's a no boundary from walmart and then my denim pants my oldie but good is zara denim pants she doesn't have any slash or distress in her jeans but this is what I have so this is what I'm gonna use I cuffed the legs you're seeing it on the cutaway I went ahead and went back for my nine West uh, sandals and my Tory Burch bag and that completes the look I 
actually love the red against the lime green you're seeing it on the cutaway it is chef's kisses eight down i'm popping up both pictures on the screen let me know which of the looks did i nail it did i nail it or not nah? let me know all right we are on outfit number seven so we have four more to go now this look i was surprised by this look but this girl this lady this woman talk about somebody that can dress their ass off you're talking about her i'm not gonna try to pronounce her name because no but she's that girl okay i've been following her on instagram since forever her style is epic you're seeing the picture on the screen like this is giving tom boy chic tom girl chic like i'm a girl but 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 you you see this you see this now she's wearing a long length button down shirt you could also wear that as a dress and she's wearing some jogger pants um some barely there sandals she doesn't have a bag and she's wearing black sunnies now i don't have this colorway i don't but i have this colorway I have white don't know why I have a white jogger pants don't, don't ask no question don't even bother ask <laughs> but I have a white jogger pants and I'm happy for that because I immediately said yes I'm recreating this look so I have these white this white jogger pants it is from I think forever 21 no it is from H&M I got it in a size medium love it I think I got it I think I have this because normally when I'm traveling I travel in um, jogger pants and then I've had this long button-down shirt since forever you guys have seen this a ton on this channel last year in my Pinterest um, recreation video I did a look with this same shirt pulled it out again you need a white button-down shirt regular one long one okay um it's great even now during the spring and summertime you can use this as a bathing suit cover up for a vacation like girl the possibilities are endless got it in a size medium it is already oversized so i stick to my regular size and so i'm going full white because i don't have a tan and then for styling i went ahead and paired it with my um snake print um barely there sandals i can i wrapped up the strings around my ankle then since i did white i went for this like tan uh sunglasses these are old from shop j sinclair and then she doesn't have a bag but i wanted to add a bag and so my shoes and the top of that kind of match a little bit and it they're all bringing in the same tones and texture and that's great for this like all white look just to break it up you're seeing it on the cutaway let me know what you think because i love it i love it i love it i love it i'm definitely gonna shoot this and i am going to tag her in it on instagram as the inspiration because one thing this girl do that girl you're gonna give credit for your work okay she's gonna give credit for your work absolutely love you're seeing both on the screen let me know how i did did i nail it did i come close to the queen right here because she is the queen of this style okay outfit number eight outfit number eight is another fave because it's a color block moment and it is from one of my favorite favorite girls on the internet her name is she goes by the name her millennial closet i showed her robe in my style remix series the other day um her real name is miranda you're seeing her look on the screen she's wearing this uh two-tone 
orange blazer so a lighter shade and a dark and a deeper hue of the same color she's wearing this pink crossbody bag uh, pink pants looks like orange uh, sandals and um, like a black shade sunnies so here's my take because guess what I have that same blazer this blazer is so old from Walmart if you have been here for a while gather in the comments because you know this is an oldie but goodie from Walmart also let me know if you still have this blazer in your arsenal because it's it was a good one like so many of you bought this from me here on YouTube and on Instagram I got it in a size medium it fits amazing it still fits great love it and then I went and paired it with these long wide leg pants from good America so the orange and the pink together now these good American pants I got them on sale they're no longer available they're even too big for me because I got them in a size 10 but I don't care I love them and I love both colors together and so for accessories I went in with my gold shoes because I don't have any um, orange sandals I have orange pointy toe but not and I don't think the pointy toe would have looked um, good with this look so I went for a neutral which is this gold nine west sandals I have this orange crossbody bag from Tory Burch absolutely love this I've had this for so long maybe about nine years this one came from way in the back of the closet and then I went in the, this like tortoise um, tortoise shell uh, sunglasses absolutely love you're seeing that look on the cutaway let me know what you're thinking did I nail it did I come close because this is my girl okay and i was like oh yeah i'm gonna have to recreate this one for her because uh one time for the one time okay so you're seeing both pictures on the cutaway let me know how i did outfit number nine outfit number nine is from another of my favorite girls on the interwebs her name is Jalissa vaughn I'm sure a lot of you follow her. She also has a YouTube channel. The girl can dress, okay? She is an inspiration. One thing me do, me get to Caesar what is due to Caesar. The girl can dress. She eats down, okay? At sh sh okay. Now, she's wearing this black cropped blazer with a black tank top underneath she's wearing the bl a black or shoe uh, pants red bag that looks like it's from the attico if i'm not mistaken and she's also wearing red mules those are similar to the red ones that i have from jeffrey campbell yeah so let's go ahead and recreate this look because when i saw it i was like i want to recreate this I'm also going to shoot this look and tag her on Instagram as well because she's also wearing sunnies. They are, um, they are clear. So here's my take on that look. So first up, I don't have a black cropped blazer, but I do have this pink one. It is from the Sergio Hudson Times Target collaboration. I think it was the last year or the year before. It also I also have the um, the cropped uh, top as well as like a bralette, also from the Sergio Hudson Times Target uh, collaboration. Love the shoulders are padded. Sergio Hudson is known for his strong shoulders, his colorful suits. Like, I cannot wait for the day that I go to one of his fashion shows in New York. I'm putting that on my list for September, okay? I need a Sergio Hudson invite. 
to his runway show in September. So if you don't know nobody or know anybody, make them know. Now, I also have a black um, or shoe pants. Now, these are trending, like heavily. Some people like them, some people don't like them. Some people tired of them. Me, me love it. I actually have a white one in my cart because... I'm gonna buy it I want a white and I don't have any white denim pants either so if I'm gonna get a white one it better be extra and done so this is it and I went ahead and instead of doing red because I'm doing pink top I went ahead and I'm pairing that look with my uh, Jacquemus uh, metallic bag with the gold hardware and my Jeffrey Campbell silver mules so I'm doing both of these together and then for sunglasses we're doing this black frame with pink lenses and you're seeing you should be seeing the look on the cutaway it down okay i love this i love 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 how it turned out like i wasn't expecting it to be that good i had to pin the waist of my pants because the girl has been eating better working out and i've been losing a few pounds so i'm gonna have to get my pants uh taken in but baby she's a vibe okay popping up both pictures on the side let me know what you're thinking Again, I copied or it this picture inspired me with the silhouette and the pieces. The colors may not be the same, but you can see the similarities and that's what it is. It's inspiration. Outfit number 10. Outfit number 10. So y'all think that I would actually do a Pinterest inspired video and didn't have a denim look? You're mad. You're liquid. Okay. Because of course we're going to have a denim on denim moment because that is always a vibe. The Canadian tuxedo will always be that girl. Okay. So she's wearing these super wide leg pants and a cropped denim shirt. She's wearing white uh, sandals with white accessories, white earrings. She doesn't have a bag. So this leaves room for interpretation. This leaves room for my creative skills to step in and say, okay, let me see what you have. Let me see what you got with styling. So I'm going in for my look. And I can guarantee you that this is the same pants. This pants is from Shein. Gather here if you remember this super wide leg denim pants. It is still available. So I am going to link it for you. Let me see what size I'm wearing so I can tell you exactly what size you need to get. Hopefully the size is in there. I'm wearing a size medium. So I'm going to link it for you. It fits perfect. And then I'm going in with my cropped. Mine though is a jacket and not a shirt. It's a cropped, cropped jacket from Zara. Super old. But there are tons of these on the market. So you won't have um, trouble finding anything that looks like this. And so I'm pairing both together. You're seeing it on the cutaway. For accessories, I don't... God, no, I mean, I have no white sandals. So that's being noted. I need a white sandals. I have three pairs of white pointy toe shoes. No white sandals. Why? What could have caused that? So we're doing triple denim. I went ahead and paired the look with my denim sandals, also from Shein. So came in very handy I think some sizes are still available and you know me we have to add some razzle dazzle to it so I'm adding my micro pink bag nothing can hold in the thoughts feelings yeah 
this is just for show okay this is just to add a little something something to the denim on denim on denim and then I'm going in with my Sunnies, these are from uh, Lorve. They're no longer available, but I love these. They are um, navy blue. I think they call them denim on the website. Hopefully she restock, um, stocks these um, again because these are so good. So you saw the look on the cutaway. Let me know what are your thoughts. I'm popping up both pictures on the screen. Did I nail it? Did I get it right? Do you like my version? let me know and we're down to the last look of <laughs> the day we're down to the last pinterest look pinterest inspired outfit so popping up the picture on the screen this is for my girls who are not into eels or you're into eels but you also love a sneaker moment like myself like i'm a shoe addict like give me some sneakers give me some eels Give me some flip-flops. I got you. Now, so she's wearing this long slip skirt. She paired it with sneakers. Those are Adidas Sambas. Hers look like they are in green. Um, she's wearing a white um, t-shirt, like a v-neck t-shirt, and a blazer, navy blazer. So, here's my take on it. Again, remember, in the back of your head, it's inspiration. It can be the color, the silhouette. If you have the exact thing, that's fine. Put your spin on it and show out in these streets. So, here's my take on that. So, I do have a maxi slip skirt. Love this one. I think I got this one from Zara. I've had it for a while, but I found a similar, same thing actually um, at H&M, and I'm going to link it for you. So the only reason why I didn't pick up the H&M one was because I already own like three slip skirts. This is Maxi Maxi though. So I have three black slip skirts. I don't need any more. So my slip skirt is here. Then... Um, I didn't do a white um, t-shirt. I went in with this uh, stripe cropped top from H&M. It is new in. This was for like $10. It comes in a bunch of colors. I'm wearing a size medium. It fits perfect. And then I am doing my Adidas Samba. So you guys know these. They look gross right now because I wear these like religiously. Every other day I'm in these. So these are my Adidas Sambas. They are so, so comfortable. Stick to your regular size. I'm wearing these in a US size 8. But stick to your regular size. Absolutely, absolutely love these. Like, I cannot rave enough about these Adidas Sambas, okay? They're so comfy. So, pairing that with the look. And then, for a uh, blazer, to break it up and add some um, definition and variation, texture, different tones, I went for this uh, brown or tan blazer, old from Zara, but I love it. I love it with the stripe and the black. It's just like different tones and textures going on right there. But I love it. It came together so well, better than I expected. And I liked it even more after I put it together. And I just popped on. She, does, she didn't have a bag. So I just popped on my Coach Art bag. Now, this strap does not come with the bag. I, I bought this separate, separately, but I love them together. Ugh, everything. You are seeing it or you saw it on the cutaway. Let me know what you are thinking. I'm popping up both pictures on the side. Did I nail it? Do you like my interpretation of her look? 
or should I go back to the drawing board and come back? Be honest, let me know in the comments. And just like that, we've come to the end of another video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and sticking to the end. If you've come this far and you have not subscribed, like girl, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting on? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a post. As always, let me know in the comments which of these looks were your favorite. And also let me know if you want to see more of these looks so I can go ahead and start to like pull because they're getting harder and harder to recreate, especially after I did like two different closet clean out. It's like, I have no clothes, <laughs> but I will make it work. And um, thank you guys again so much. I will catch you in another video. But until then, be good. Mwah.